What if I told you that the best video generation model was not in the cloud, but could actually be in your desktop or in your house? Today, we're gonna be checking out the WAN X from the Alibaba Group. This is a image to video and also a text to video model. And we're actually gonna run some prompts through it and just take a look at what the quality is. We'll check out some of the specs around the GPU usage, the amount of VRAM that is required for a certain amount of steps. And we're also gonna look at that on, of course, the Quad 3090 rig. Now, this is the same rig that I was baseline testing the latest DeepSeek on and, uh, you know, strap on the GPUs basically about $4,000 worth of GPUs at this point, and you've got yourself one hell of a machine. Of course, they run on things like 4090s also, and with two sizes, this actually promises to run on just a single GPU. And the best part is the Apache 2 license. This is what pushes us further, faster, and I can't wait to show you guys what kind of quality you can get out of a machine like this, uh, maybe a GPU like this, or you can also use several of the cloud-based services. All of this stuff and the information about it linked in the description below. While you're down there, hit like and subscribe. Also make sure to check out the website where I have an interactive testing and DevOps log on setting this up, deploying it, and findings that I make. I'm gonna to try to test out quite a few different GPU combinations to see what the performance is like of this on multiple different setups. And so are you excited? I am actually insanely excited for this. So let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get the generation of the first video underway. And the prompt is two anamorphic cats in comfy boxing gear and bright gloves fighting intensely on a spotlighted stage. And you can see that it kind of barfs out here a bunch of info and there's a lot of additional things that you can set. However, I ran into quite a few problems trying to set some of these. So uh, keep in mind that might be an issue you run into. Now, I am using just the T2V 1.3 billion, so not huge, and this is a 480 resolution video. So there is another uh, size, and that probably is going to provide you with much better results, I'm going to guess, and that is the 14B. Now, I don't have enough VRAM in, uh, I don't think I have enough VRAM to do that effectively without offloading that model onto CPU. I might get around to trying that, but I think actually I'm just gonna try to hook up more GPUs to the system over here, but that's gonna need mean I need to get some more power and I do have a new power supply on the way that should allow me to extend out the power. Okay, we can see the generation starting here. So let's go back and uh, check it out here. So it creates a pipeline, it uh, pulls in some checkpoints and then it starts generating the video from the model. It looks like it's running at about 9.5 or so uh, seconds per iteration, and it's estimating somewhere about eight minutes. This is not a huge amount of frames. I mean, we might get a five second video here. Sample FPS, 16, there it is. Yeah, it's kind of off to the side. So there should be probably a Gradio coming out with this. There, I'm sure, will be a lot of additional ways that you can run this. Of course, you can check the links below for a lot of information about that. I'll just quickly walk you through GitHub that they have. This supports consumer grade GPUs. And in the 1.3B, you can generate a five second 40, 480p video on a 4090. And it takes about four minutes on a 4090. And that is because a 4090 has a better uh, handling for the optimization than you get with a 3090. So of course, when we were talking earlier about inference, not a huge difference between 3090 and 4090. However, when you start getting to certain tasks like RAG and generation of images, generation of video, there's where you start to see some pretty big differences. Seeing what it would be like on a 5090, now there is a good question. I, I have a lot of uh, interest in hopefully being able to get to the point where there's 5090 availability and uh, they're not having all sorts of issues and maybe I could check that out. Its performance is even uh, comparable to some closed source models. So that right there is kind of like the crux of it. We have DeepSeek 2 just killing it. And now we've got uh, this latest WAN 2.1. And the name kind of is not the best name in my opinion. But definitely it is a pretty cool advancement to put out there open source. So other people can improve on it. And especially with the Apache 2 license. I, you haven't seen this channel running most of the other uh, 
video models out there because they are commercially licensed. And that is something that, you know, I, I, I'm not going to say I'm hardline against it, but if I'm going to put it out there and it's going to be a low quality thing that I might not be that into it and to get to start with, then I don't want to put it out there. If it's a, you know, definitely a licensed model or you got to go through commercial rights and stuff to get this one looks really good. I mean, their website looks really good and we might try to steal a prompt. Maybe we can steal a prompt and uh, check it out. See if we can generate the same or close to the same. Uh, we would need the seed also, I believe. So without the seed, I don't think it would do that that much for us. But uh, maybe we'll try out one of these shorter prompts. Another thing I noticed, we're about 50% of the way through here also, is that if I put in a really long prompt, it dies on me. So I'm not sure exactly what that is. And I'm that maybe there's bugs out there also in it. Definitely. I think that there is some probably easier ways to get up and running with this. And one of them is on model scope. And this is, I guess, a kind of hugging face for China. Maybe that's accurate to say. Um, I, it's new to me. Uh, I, I just was checking this out. They have something called DiffSynth Studio, VRAM optimizations, LoRa training, uh, video to video. That's pretty cool. Uh, that might be uh, some capabilities that you would want to check out with their studio. I would say I understand a lot of people have trepidation about running bits that are not from country of origin, whatever country you're in. I got a lot of blowback on the DeepSeek video from people that were like, these are Chinese models. I see, I've seen neither of these two phone home. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but I, it is something that, you know, you make your own decisions about the security and stuff like that of your own setup. Uh, I think it's a wise thing to also consider, though, that if you have anything in your house, so much software is now written in China also. Uh, so I, I wouldn't be freaked out over it uh, just for the fact that it's coming out of China. These are actually bigger companies in China, so they probably uh, enforce a little bit better, hopefully, standards. Of course, if you are a government employee or something like that, don't do what they did with DeepSeek to install the app on government devices and upload uh, who knows what documents to it. Don't do something stupid like that. Uh, this is a video generation model, so I don't think people would do that, but I think that is a, a fair warning to put out there. And something else I was thinking of that I think could be pretty fun here. I'm not a prompting expert. This is like one of my first attempts at local video generation. Uh, I've used a couple of the cloud ones and not really good results in them. So I figured this would be a little bit more interesting, especially if we can see the quality and it's good. And if you're interested in dropping a prompt suggestion in the comments below, do that and vote up the ones that you like down there also the one that gets like the most thumbs up or the most social cred or the most comments or something like that i, I haven't decided yet uh, i'll go ahead and generate that maybe i'll generate a couple of them also and put them on the youtube uh channel uh, just make sure you hit the like and subscribe i'll do it as community posts and that way you can actually see the video that you prompted so uh, of course nothing crazy here but it, you know as long as it's safe for YouTube or, you know, kind of safe for YouTube, uh, put it down there and we'll check it out. Yeah, so video generation definitely takes a lot of time. I do have the configuration working. Oh my gosh, so many things broke. Uh, it, it, to say it's been a little bit of a torchy disaster is an uh, understatement. All right, so let's pull this over to the desktop. Okay, there we go. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, shit cats fighting not a stage so much but i would say that they're fairly decent uh you guys tell me what you think about that i think they could have been better quality like i really do think they could have been better quality uh and they're definitely probably about this size in real life uh or, or in uh pixels let's see if we can get the media information here i think i have to put this on repeat and then hit play and then the media information should show yeah so uh 480p essentially frame rate 16. so that is uh not insanely awesome but it is pretty damn good let's give it a different prompt a cute kitten is playing with a ball of yarn on the carpet it is a calico kitten so the tongue definitely looks abnormally large to me however for a pretty small model, that might not be bad at all. I'm imagining that most of what we saw in the demos 
is the larger model being used. It did get the blue eyes kind of pretty well there also, so that's a good good sign. And that is not really what I think a calico looks like, but maybe a calico could look like that. It is on a rug. It has good depth of field. It's got really good hair texture volume. So kittens kind of do look like a little poof things like that. So yeah, uh, the ball of yarn has some motion that doesn't seem to be tied to anything, which that's distracting. And definitely I would rate this as maybe a six out of uh, 10 or something like that. So I would say the quality in the smaller one, not a hundred percent seeing it. Now let's try the bigger one. And so we tried to get it working with the 14B. I think I do need more GPUs. I don't know why the offload wasn't working for me. It didn't seem to be working for me there. But uh, definitely it is mentioned in the context on their documentation of the smaller. Uh, let's see if I can control F and find it again there. Yeah, the offload model is mentioned in the context of the single GPU inference. So I'm not sure if uh, that is a error that I've got or where that error is coming from. But uh, definitely something to keep in mind and check out a little bit more. It does look like if you want to go up to the 720p resolution, you do need to be able to run the 14B. So uh, I will be doing some more work on this and figuring out whether or not we can get it there. Hopefully I can get it to this quality. I'm going to guess that this quality came from the much larger model. I guess that would probably be, uh, that would probably be a good guess drop your comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me prompt. Granted, it would probably only be the uh, smaller model prompting it at this point in time, but I will read all the comments down there and drop some nuggets of information if you got some. Uh, I definitely have a lot to learn in this regard, so there will hopefully be, I did notice, a uh, comfy UI, and that that's probably uh, in the works, I'm going to guess, or I don't know when that's going to happen, but that'll make things, I think, a lot easier for people that are looking for a user interface and not just a command line. I don't mind the command line, really, for doing this. It's fine by me. I just need to know the flags. Uh, and I, I didn't see a like comprehensive list of them. So if you know where the comprehensive or if there are a comprehensive list of flags, make sure to uh, drop that. And especially if they got descriptions, that would be just dynamite. It seems like documentation is never what developers want to do, though. So... All right, let's check out the uh, language extend. Maybe that can help us out here with the... Okay, let me go there, paste that. En prompt local Quinn. Use prompt extend. Yeah, so we'll see if it pulls down automatically or if I have to manually do this. But it should hopefully show up over here. Oh, you know what? Was that in the, yeah, that's the 1.3. So it does look like it's downloading the Quinn model also. So definitely should have enough space on uh, the GPUs to do this since this should only be running in one GPU, I think. Um, and I'm excited to see how this enhances the quality for sure. If you need to actually install it on the same system, that it seems like it runs into a little bit of space issues uh so maybe you could run that on a different system i don't know whoa whoa that yarn has got a life of its own but that is a calico kitten that is an excellent calico kitten uh the motion of the calico kitten looks realistic the motion of the yarn <laughs> looks insane um is there anything that I can see that is absolutely wrong? That is that is actually what I might expect a calico kitten to look like. Uh, cute and definitely on a rug. Definitely has some background depth. That definitely has some depth to it. Fur looks pretty decent. I would say overall this is not dramatically better than the other one. Uh, and the yarn is, well, it's got a mind of its own. Uh, so... I would say there's some weirdness to that, actually. Uh, I don't know. And so we have one more here, and this is a 
giant monster. There was an Apache. It was supposed to be actually exploding and firing weapons. Uh, it looks like the timing of the weapons firing didn't happen quite. But uh, I, I've got to say, I like the monster. I think the monster's got a future uh, in something else that I'd like to see. Cool looking monster. The city, pretty decent. Uh, the amount of motion, I would say, is a little bit hectic. There are some good things, but there are some bad things about that helicopter. That is definitely not an Apache. I asked for an Apache shooting weapons at the monster, and that's not what we got. The city does look like it's not as damaged as it could be either. Maybe in the background there's some damage. But uh, I was hoping for a lot more damage and interaction of the monster and the city itself. So probably need to have that run for a good deal longer if we were going to expect to see something like that. And probably the best way for that to happen is for me to figure out how to get the quad GPUs effectively working so that we can generate something that uh, has more frames and looks better. I might try adjusting some of the settings, but this is incrementally pretty cool. I like the monster. I, I will say I like the monster. You guys tell me, what do you think? Is this revolutionary? Uh, am I just running too small? My, my guess is that the larger one will be significantly better, but maybe it's coming down to settings. Maybe it's coming down to skills. Probably both of those, actually. So settings, skills, VRAM. Going to need to up each one of those. And I probably will do that over the next couple of days. So make sure you drop your comments and... Uh, like I said, if you've got a really good idea of a prompt you would like to see, drop it below and I might just be able to get that put out there on YouTube for you. Everybody have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, it's the morning here. So have a great rest of your day, literally, and I will see you next time.